this video for SB Outdoors, we're going to talk about how we we are filtering water. Um, we've used a lot of different water filtration devices. We've used the classic Katadin Hiker Pro. I've used an MSR Hyperflow as well. Um, but the 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 latest and greatest craze are these uh, Sawyer grab uh, Sawyer carbon filters, basically. So we've got the Sawyer Mini. And then we've got the Sawyer Squeeze right here. So Kevin uses the Sawyer Squeeze. I've got the Sawyer Mini. So um, a lot of people prefer the Sawyer Squeeze. It's a little bit bigger, but um, the flow rate is, is much better than the, the Mini. So um, when you buy these filters, they come with their own, uh, their own uh, soft-sided bags to, to fill up with water. And I'm going to be honest here, those bags are kind of garbage. They, yeah, they, they break pretty uh, frequently. I mean, they've redone them a few times, but um, so we picked up these Evernew um, two liter bags that we use as our dirty water bags to filter our water through. And um, I've used Evernew products for a, a few years now, but we actually uh, saw this tip from another YouTube channel and that this is a really great bag to use. Um, additionally, if we ever wanted to do like a gravity style filter, I got a piece of zinging on there. We're going to hang it upside down and, and uh, and uh, let the water drip instead of having to squeeze. So the, so how the how this works is that, and as you can see, Kevin's got it set up on his. Is that the filters, like this Sawyer squeeze, has threading on it, and you will literally just thread it onto your dirty water bag, and then you will squeeze the water through it. So we've got the Sawyer squeeze, and we've got the Sawyer mini. Um, and let's check out the different flow rates between them. But before we do that, one thing you know you got to know is that when, whenever you're getting prepared to get water, you know make sure you know where your water is coming from. We've got an awesome stream behind us right now, and this is a it's clear, it's fast moving. Um, we don't use chemicals to treat our water. Uh, we're just using a, a carbon filter, and we've I've never had any issues. I've never gotten sick using these. Um, the life. The life of these filters is is a long time. It's like it's like ten thousand gallons, something like stupid like that. Um, so additionally, like Ke Kevin and I set up is the exact same thing except for the different filters. So we we've got a cut off water bottle, just a plastic water bottle that we use as a water scoop, and then it makes it easier to fill up these bags. Um, I you really can't do this without a scoop. I think. Um, yeah, it's it's a pain. And then. Um, it all kind of fits to, I have it all together in a Cuban fiber bag. My, the mini, this whole setup with the mini weighs, I think it was 3.1 or 3.4 ounces. And then and the, uh, the setup with the squeeze, with the squeeze is 4.8. So the squeeze is basically like an ounce or a little bit over an ounce heavier, but it, it just, it's way better. I mean, it doesn't clog as frequently. It filters water you'll see much faster. Uh, bulk wise it's not too much bulkier um, it, it does cost I think it's almost it costs almost twice as much yeah and, I mean, and you can get a Sawyer mini I think for like 25 bucks including two of the Sawyer bags in the syringe everything you need to get going so they're they're really economical and the, uh, the squeeze is 50 bucks for the same exact thing a, a bag a syringe and the squeeze filter itself yeah so like Andy said in the past, like I started with a Catadyne Hiker Pro, which is sweet. Um, you know, it's a pump style style filter. I've had iodine tablets. I've never used them. Aquamira is the popular chemical way to treat water. I've used Aquamira. I, the one thing I don't like about chemicals, and I, I get that it does a better job like killing bacteria and viruses, but uh, I don't like to wait <laughs> for Yeah, that. some of the Aquamira you have to wait like an hour. Um, and the, the other like really pro to these is because they are carbon filters, the water tastes so good coming out of these like it's so good and it's like a cold mountain stream behind us and it, it just ta it tastes a lot better um, so we prefer these filters and with regular back flushing um, they last forever and you don't even like we're going to be out here we're out here on a four day trip right now and we don't even probably have to back flush these once while we're out here because the water is pretty clear so um, what we'll do right now is I'm, we're going to show you the flow rates between two of them so that you can make your own decision on what you think is better. And then we'll also do a demo on how to back flush it as well. So for the mini, like we said, it just screws on. So we'll just screw on the mini there. So you don't want to, one thing Sawyer says, you don't want to over tighten it. So right when it starts to get firm, that's good enough. And the mini also has a cap, so I'm going to 
hold my smart water bottle in between my legs here. I'll show you that. It's going right now, but when I squeeze it. Oh, piss poor flow rate. <laughs> yeah. I mean, look at that. And that's why we typically use the mini for like a gravity filter, but yeah. Um, There now it's going. So you can see why people will probably prefer the squeeze to this. You want to flip over to the squeeze? Yeah, so let's flip over to the squeeze. All right, so here's the squeeze. Right. <laughs> Look at that. So for an extra ounce, it's just way less work here. I mean, look at that. Well worth the ounce and the extra like 20 bucks. Yeah. And I, I even think these pump, these, these pump treat water faster than the pump filters. I long time, my first filter was an MSR Hyperflow and that, that thing still has the, the highest flow rate I've ever seen on a water filter, but um, this is definitely close second here. But yeah, so ounce more, you get quite a better flow rate. It's at least double, yeah. if not triple. So look at that, he's filtered about a liter of water in like, I don't know, 40 seconds, 30 seconds? Under a minute. Yeah. Show you the back flushing capabilities on the using the smart water top. Um, again, just as a reminder, you always wanna back flush using clean water. <laughs> Oh my oh, gosh, yeah. look at that. Gross. So, yeah, just back flushed it. So doing it that way eliminates the need to carry a syringe with you. Yep. Um, so kind of a multi-use. For a long time, we, we had awesome luck setting this up in a gravity filter setup. So meaning uh, we let we had it upside down hanging and I had a piece of tube that can go off here and you can fill it up that way if you don't mind the weight. Make your own decision. This is cheaper, lighter, more expensive, a little heavier, but um, both are great filters. Um, yeah, so if you uh, have any other tips on, you know, using these types of filters, uh, they're all over the trail. Everybody uses these now. Feel free to leave them in the comments. Um, and yeah, thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next video.